Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model in the fastest way possible a 3D puzzle for 3D printing in Fusion 360. So, let's get started. Before every single drawing, the units are very important. So in order to set them correctly, let's go here and let's verify. Today's drawing will be again in millimeters, so everything seems to be fine. And now let's create our first component. So new component, let's write for example, puzzle tiger, why not? And as you can see, this is our active component. But before starting our puzzle, we need some materials as well. First of all, we need a blank puzzle. So I will go on this side, I will let you the link in the description and I can select my parameters. For example, the tiles, six times three, as you can see. Size, 150, 75 millimeters. And the good benefit of this site is that I can customize my puzzle and moreover, I can download also in the CVG format. And after I download this format, I go on Google and I search for a picture. For today's drawing, I use this photo with this tiger. And after that, I download it and I went on this site. I will leave also this link in the description. I convert with this site this photo into a CVG again. And then I come back to Fusion. Now let's start with a puzzle. First of all, I suggest to create a new component. And let's write here puzzle. Let's create now a new sketch. For example, here. Let's construct, first of all, a rectangle, central rectangle actually, with that dimension. So, if you remember, 75 tab 150. So, imagine this is our puzzle. You can delete also these diagonals. Now, let's import our CVG. Insert, insert CVG, insert from my computer, and this one it will be. Now, as you can see, I'm able to add it here. Let's drag it. At this format, a CVG, I cannot move, I cannot do everything, as you can see. So, I will select, I will press Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. And I made a copy. Now let's move it. And this is like a normal sketch, so I can use it, I can move it, I can scale it, whatever. And with this one, I can delete it now. If you remember, I need to have these dimensions. To be 100% precise about our drawing, let's measure it. Sketch dimension and OK. I have this dimension. Let's have now a small calculation. So, if you can remember, 150 divided by 39.688. And this is our scale factor. We need to use it. and you should write as many decimals as you can. So, let's go here, I selected sketch scale, except of one point, okay, and now let's write our scale, in our case 3.77947999, I think it is enough, and then press enter. Now, let's move it, move command, point to point, from this point until here, and look at that. After that, we need to have a small tolerance here, so in order to do that, we will offset each piece with 0.3 millimeters. This is a boring process, but we need to do it. So, let's get started. Offset it, every single part, with 0.3. There will be cases that we will have minus 0.3. Let me show you. For example, here, we need to write not 0.3, we need to be minus. So, you get the idea. Now, let's back to work. And we are done. Now, let's finish the sketch and pay attention to select just the middle part, because you don't want to select another sketch. So, extrude it. For each piece, you should click inside. And let's extrude it with 4 millimeters. New body, OK. Now we have also the puzzle with the perfect tolerance for the printer, as you see. Everything is symmetric now. Good. 
let's move on. Now let's go back and let's create another component. And let's write here Tiger Black. And I will show you later why. Let's create a new sketch on this surface and let's bring up our tiger. Insert, insert CVG. Tiger, open. Okay, and look at that. Now, as you guessed it, it is the time to scale it. And then press enter. Of course, you can delete that part or you can ignore it. First of all, let's have a short look on the image. As you can see, now we will focus on the black side. So this is why I named this component Tiger Black, because all these components will be with a black color. So let's get back. But before starting it, let's use the project command. So press the P letter and select every single tile that this tiger intersect. And then press OK. Now let's extrude every single part which is black. So extrude and try to pay attention as much you can. And now we are done. So create a new body. Okay. And let's add, for example, a thickness of three millimeters. Of course, you can write also one, also two, it's up to you. Also this part. And then press OK. Now, as you can see, we have the boundaries. Okay. Now let's use them and let's add a color. You can also color the entire component. So let's add the color. For example, black plastic. Okay, and now let's create another component. And let's write tiger yellow to be easier for the color. And we will use the same sketch. So let's go back, sketch one, make it visible, and now extrude it again. But for this time, it is much, much easier and faster. And let's add now the thickness again of three, and it will be again a new body. And as you guessed it, let's write here yellow plastic. Unfortunately, the fusion doesn't have the orange color, so we will use yellow. And for the final part, again, a new component, tiger white. Extrude again. We have here some tiny parts, but let's color them. New body, three, okay. Plastic white. And let's have a look. Check it out. Everything seems to be all right. But if you can imagine, maybe you want to have a gift or maybe you want to offer something with a higher impact. You can also add here in a puzzle, you can also add a text. Let me show you how. We will stay here in this component and let's create a new sketch. Let's go here now to text. Example, this side. And I will write, for example, Mary's cat in the middle. OK. Now I will finish the sketch and I will extrude the text. I select the text and I will write three millimeters. OK. 
Okay, new body. All the bodies are here right now. And let's color them too. I select them and I'll write here red plastic, for example. But as you can clearly see, I need to have some gaps. So in order to do that, I make all this body invisible. I create a new sketch again. Project all these four tiles. And I create a new rectangle. So press the air letter. And I finish the sketch now. Extrude and let's select those gaps. Let's make all the bodies visible. And let's drag the arrow and let's cut the right. And look like that. This is the result that we need. And you have plenty of possibilities. Imagination is the limit. I hope this video helped you learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.